Hi guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today we are going to be doing a June pick a card reading and see what's going on for you in June. So we have something a little bit different today. We have fortune cookies as well. I just thought I'd mix it up a little bit. So if you would like to take a deep breath and choose group one, two, three or four and let's get started on your June reading. Hello group number one, thank you so much for clicking on this video. So first of all, let's open this and let's see what your message is. All right, this is really broken, so <laughs> I don't know if this is your mood. <laughs> this is really broken. So, um, okay. So obviously I am gonna eat these, by the way. I'm not going to waste them. Face facts with dignity. Okay, <laughs> kind of random, but there we go. So that's your message today. So we have this gorgeous citrine. I'm pretty sure this is citrine. And let's get started. So we have dream big, let go of all small thoughts about yourself, see yourself succeeding. We have inner power, eight of cups, six of swords, speaker. I need to go over there, okay. Express your love, new love. And it release your ex. Right, okay. So we've got a little bit of 50-50 energy here. And when I say 50-50, I mean to the fact that you are in and out of something. So you're basically either you're in the process of letting something go. Or you've let go of something and now you're waiting on something else. So I feel like you're in the middle of something. So you know what you want, but you're still going through the process. That's what they're telling me. So that's basically what is going on. So we have the inner power and we have dream big. So essentially, I feel like you're being held back because you're going through something at the moment. But make sure to speak up about your issues if you're having issues with some, a certain person. Or you feel like you just generally need to talk about something. So I definitely feel like you are releasing something. You're releasing your ex, you're releasing the past. I love the fact we got both of these together because they're basically both of them you can see they're walking away from something so you could have been walking you could be walking away from emotions that no longer serve you you could be both walking away from people who no longer serve you definitely situations as well so we also have the six of swords so basically this could be just moving into karma waters and you're almost moving into the speaker card so it's like you're moving into being more vocal and speaking about what you want in June, I feel like there is a new love, but I feel like you need to release people from the past or release something from your past. I don't feel like this is actually going to be an issue because I definitely feel like that this is kind of in the process now or it's already happened. But if you feel like you are still hanging on to somebody who, who kind of in the back of your mind is like not good for you, I think it's time to let them go and be strong and dream big about something you really, really want. Use your inner power to manifest a new person. I feel like you are actually manifesting because... I actually feel like you have someone new in your periphery. It's almost like you haven't let go of the past yet, but you have someone new. So it could be the fact that someone new has almost bought on these feelings of letting go of the past. And it's like, okay, well, if I need to move in onto this new person, I've got to let go of the past. So I think you'll be expressing your love to someone new. This could also be to a new friend or a family member, that sort of thing. But it could be romantic love. So I definitely feel like there's definitely a new person coming in. I want to pull um, some cards from my deck. So let's see what else we have. June group one, please. Group one, what's happening? I had a feeling we'd get this card. And this card. Yep, okay. So these are all the... This is definitely accurate to how I was feeling. So you're going through an uphill struggle right now and you feel confined. Essentially, I feel like you have let... You all, all, some of you, uh, sorry, I'm like stumbling on my words. Some of you, I feel like I've already let go of somebody and you're almost like, where the hell is the new person or where the hell is a new start? But they're telling me very, very soon. So don't worry. It's basically, it is coming. The new love is coming. And underneath we have, you are safe. So make sure to focus on your safety. Say, I am safe. I am safe. And also the funny thing is, is I actually had just a message with um, my friend and she said, for me to say that I am safe so definitely that is a synchronicity for you say that you are safe and underneath it says ain't no mountain high enough so there's definitely some energy coming in for you that is a bit stuck so don't worry things are going to be moving through so if you'd like to know the zodiac sign of the person you are interacting with let's see this could oh, this could also be you as well so we also have Pisces Leo and Taurus 
So thank you for watching guys. If this helped you and it's resonated, then let me know down below. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope your June is amazing and magical. And don't forget to use your inner power to manifest. I feel like you've got a lot of good things coming towards you. So don't worry if you're feeling stuck, but enjoy what's coming towards you. And I will speak to you very soon. Also, if you would like to um, get a private reading with me, all the information is down below. And I will probably still be doing my May sale up until the 1st of June. So hit me up if you want to get one of those. And also if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, all the information is down below. Also, before I go, group number one, I just got a message of a song. Um, it's This Love by Maroon 5. And the lyric is, this love has taken its toll on me. She said goodbye too many times before. And that's the message that I got for group one. I just thought I'd let you know because sometimes I sing in between each group. So that's the message that I got. So I hope that helped. Look up the lyrics if you need some guidance, okay? I got you. Bye. <laughs> Hi, group number two. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's see what your fortune cookie says. So lucky for you, <laughs> unlike number one, uh, this group actually has their fortune cookie put together, which is good. The other one was a bit broken, which I don't know is a metaphor for something, but also I do eat these cookies afterwards, so don't worry about that. It is better to be born lucky than rich. So let's get started with your reading. So we have Opalite, my favourite crystal. I love this crystal so much. It is so pretty. So let's see what we have. Treasure chest, an unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now. Helpful person, someone wants to help you. Think of whom that might be and initiate contact. Kick up your heels. <clears throat> Excuse me. Light and love. Your purpose is to bring divine healing, light and love to this world. Keep an open mind. It is safe for you to love. Retreat. And we also have the Three of Cups and the King of pentacles okay that's supposed to be that that way okay cool right okay so in the month of june i feel like you're gonna have a lot of fun i feel like if you're not thinking if you're not thinking oh well, i'm like really sad i need to have more fun this is calling you to have more fun i feel like it's time to maybe hit up your friends kind of message them and say hey let's go out let's do something and let's kind of get something started sort of thing because I feel like it's time for you to retreat and get away from anything that isn't serving you at the moment because I definitely feel like we have the collaboration of getting together and communicating so I love how in fact we got king of pentacles because I feel like you're actually going to be celebrating the fact that you're getting more money you're more stable in money this could also mean a earth sign is coming towards you or an earth sign is around you right now so definitely there is abundance coming for you in June because I feel like you have been stuck for quite a long time and I feel like to have this card is quite a big sign for you because a lot of you I feel like are quite stuck and a lot of this treasure is kind of hidden away in this chest and I feel like in June you're actually going to be unlocking this and they're telling me divine feminine divine timing so whatever that means to you then that's that. So a helpful person, there's someone who wants to help you. So basically I feel like you could be actually talking to your friend and getting girlfriends, guy friends, obviously it doesn't matter if you're a guy or a girl, but I'm definitely getting like girlfriends, I'm getting like girly kind of nature. Um, obviously if you're a guy, that doesn't, that doesn't count, but you know, if you're more into your feminine, um, if you're more of a divine feminine, then that's kind of what's happening here. So I definitely feel like you need to lean on somebody for support. If you're feeling more lonely, it's time to initiate contact and actually get the ball rolling in that sort of area if you feel like you've been quite secluded. So I feel like there is going to be someone coming towards you because it says keep an open mind and it's safe for you to love. And this is almost like the chariot card I'm seeing because there's a horse, and but she's on the horse instead of the guy. So it's almost like the guy is kind of stepping back and letting the girl kind of um sit on the horse and he's kind of like sit, sitting back so i definitely feel like that um the, your person is coming forward and is kind of um opening up more to you and kind of it's kind of like letting go the guy the the person your, the partner is letting go so if someone might actually initiate contact with you in june and it's going to let you know how they feel also keep an open mind because I feel like if you're kind of waiting on somebody to come through or you're kind of waiting for a partner, um, I definitely feel like that keep an open mind as to when this is going to happen as say divine timing, divine feminine, that is what is happening. And also spread love and light and to, I feel like this is kind of calling to um, 
look into your heart chakra heal your heart chakra um do things you love and which is which is basically just going to help the entire world anyway and also to meditate and do yoga because that's going to help you to open your heart chakra to loosen things off and to essentially have fun and just just be lo loosey goosey i also see travel not in the cards but in uh, just i kind of just got that really heavy is travel i got like the world world card so i feel like you might be wanting to travel i actually totally forgot to use this deck so i'm just going to use this deck right now i'm going to see what's going to happen in june for group number two please Okay. oh look money lovely lovely yeah definitely feel like there's money coming towards you and use your mind wisely in a sense that just to kind of see what goes on and um don't get too stuck with what other people are telling you so underneath we have trust in the magic so i feel like if definitely if you're feeling stuck trust that everything is going to work out even if you can't see it right now it's going on behind the scenes whoa we've got three cards okay Fair enough. <laughs> okay, let's read all of them then. Because I didn't. I thought we only had one card. I actually have never had this card before. Not that I can remember. So it has. It's called Lizard Spirit. Dream the world into being. So I feel like that's actually going to start happening in June. Manifesting is going to be really big for you. Oh my god, I've never actually had these cards before. This is so weird. I've had these cards before, but like they're really the cards that really don't want to come out a lot of the time, or don't want to come out. That's so funny. And they're all really small creatures. So I feel like you are almost getting and weaving in into all the issues that you've been struggling with. And you're really getting into the nitty gritty stuff now, which is really good. So we have Moth Spirit, Surrender Now, Mouth Spirit, Tend to the Small Things, Nightingale Spirit, Love is All Around, and Time for a Deep Dive. So that's exactly what I'm feeling. I feel like you're really getting into all the nitty gritty bits. You're really pulling out all the deep emotions and you're and this is what's shifting you towards the future and also helping you to manifest i feel like the color pink is going to be really good for your heart chakra as well so rose quartz is going to be quite significant i feel and i feel rose quartz is very peaceful so i don't feel like this is going to be really good for you also we have a really good continuing so we have 38 39 40 41 47 and 60 so it's kind of going up so i feel like you're almost ascending from this gorgeous like it's, I feel like you felt like a small creature for quite a long time. You felt small and now you're building yourself up and up and up and expanding, which is really good. And also love is all around. I definitely feel like there's someone coming in or you're going to have a lot of people surrounding you who love you um, more in June, I feel like, because I feel like you're going to be almost connecting with more people and you're going to be di diving into really deep emotions. You could also be sharing a deep connection with someone who's coming in. So let's see um, what's coming in for you. If there's anything else that needs to come through, please. So we have you are safe, uphill, ain't no mountain high enough, and a box. So these are actually all the cards that group one got, which is really funny. So I feel like you are also struggling with some sort of pain, emotional pain, and you're having an uphill struggle. But basically just letting you know that I love that this is like in the middle between the box and uphill because it's basically saying that there's hope. You are going forward, you're coming out of your shell, you're coming out of your box and you are safe and just keep saying, I am safe, I am safe. If you have any anxiety coming up and they t they're telling me if you're having any anxiety coming up, it's natural because you are transforming. This is this was underneath the deck, by the way. Because you're transforming and you're going into new territory. So let's see what the star sign is that you are connecting with today. Uh, today in June, this could also be you as well. So we have Aries we have libra scorpio and we also have leo so thank you for watching guys if you would like to hit me up on my sale my sale is going on until june 1st so <clears throat> excuse me if you would like to get a private reading with me for only 19 pounds 95 for 25 minutes then you can do that all the information is down below also subscribe to this channel if you like what i what you're watching right now and also, if you'd like to like this video and comment down below if this resonated, and I'll speak to you very, very soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Thank you so much for clicking on this video, and thank you for being here. Let's see what your fortune cookie says about you. We have new perspective will come with the new year. That could be Chinese New Year or just the new year in general. These aren't always the most accurate, so just take it as it comes. It's just a fun little thing to add to this reading. So, also I do eat these cookies, by the way, so don't worry about me wasting them. <laughs> 
So let's see what you guys got for June. Let's see. We have this gorgeous blue crystal here. So we have worthiness. Honor your true feelings. Know that you deserve to receive good in all ways. Seven of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. Leadership. Take charge of this situation. Trust. Let your friends help you. Be the spirit. Lay a solid foundation. Brown bear spirit, take time out. And we also have, life is speeding up. So I feel like you are setting a solid foundation in June. I feel like because we've got the lay a solid foundation here, it's essentially like you're really starting a new life in, um, in this month. You're like really starting over. They're telling me the next seven years is probably gonna start like revving up in June. I'm getting this like vroom 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 thing kind of like a motorbike or like trying to get a lawnmower to start. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting you're finally starting to move forward because we've got the life is speeding up card. So I feel like if stuff gets a bit too intense like emotions, if emotions run too high as in like you get kind of anxious because this is new and also if you're if you've been digging out quite a lot of stuff and you've been doing the work essentially the fact that you're moving into a new almost life like a new life it's going to be quite overwhelming for you so basically make sure to take time out look after yourself and to nourish yourself i'm getting um somebody wearing a crystal so if you like to wear crystals this is going to be really good looking to um possibly rose quartz wearing rose quartz if you don't wear it already um also i'm getting topaz or um topaz i don't know I actually don't know what topaz looks like, but that's kind of what I'm getting. I don't know if that's actually a crystal. I'm thinking it is, but that's what I'm getting. I don't know what that is. Or like taupe, like the colour taupe. Topaz lilac. So it could all be topaz or amethyst. I think topaz is a crystal. If it's not, I don't know, but that's what I got. So, so basically, as I said, look after yourself. Know that you are worthy and honour these feelings that are coming up. If you feel like there's some sort of situation with somebody that's kind of been long running and you've not really got an answer then just honor these feelings and honor anything that comes up honor any emotions that come up so we also have the seven of cups and the queen of cups actually i forgot that was cups okay so you're going to get emotional healing this month for sure you're definitely going to get emotional healing and i definitely feel like your children are going to help you with this or children are going to be quite important for you because the fact that we've got leadership it's like with the children, I think it's really cute because the children are kind of like surrounding her and and they're almost like uh, cupids are kind of just looking after this knight. So take charge of the situation, take charge of your emotions and all the things that are coming up essentially and trust that this situation is going to start moving forward. And also it says the situation is calling you to have faith. So have faith that this situation is going to sort itself out. And also let your friends help you. If you need the advice, don't be scared to get the advice from somebody. Because I feel like a lot of you are locking yourself up. I'm getting like someone standing in... Um, I'm getting like the Chokey from um, Matilda. Where it's the film Matilda. If you haven't seen it, it's basically Matilda is like a little girl. And this um, teacher called Miss Trunchbull puts Matilda in this box with... <clears throat> excuse me with spikes in and she closes the door essentially it's really really bad but i feel like you're almost doing this to yourself but i can't really see a, a kind of a, a box of spikes i'm seeing like a like a tall like wardrobe almost thing and you're putting yourself in it and you're locking a chain around it so i feel like it's time to kind of let that out let the emotions come out i know that's probably really deep and intense but that's that's what i get so that's kind of what i'm seeing so let your friends help you and also you're going to have a lot of options uh, this month for different opportunities. I feel like in money, love and career, um, just generally and in life, I feel like you're going to have quite a few options. And they're all going to be options that are really self, are really self fulfilling for you. Because basically you're, you're starting to realise your worth or you've been working on your worthiness. And now the universe is recognising this and you're going to be weaving your web. You're going to be opening yourself up to new opportunities and you're going to be looking into... Um, and working on a new life essentially so let's see what the cards say about june they're telling me to be specific about picking the cards so i feel like you might be wanting to be quite specific about people you hang around with or sort of things you put yourself into sort of thing but i feel like it's really good 
So we have I, transformation, new change, and you are safe. So you're definitely going to be transforming this month for sure. Basically, I feel like you're already transforming and the transformation process is just really speeding up. And now it's going to be time for a new change. I feel like your spirituality is going to really heighten. Your intuition is going to really, really heighten. Because this transformation period is kind of like a new, it's like a new period for you to kind of set out. And also, you are safe. So just acknowledging, keep acknowledging that you're safe. And similar to these feelings is honour your true feelings. So basically, anything that's coming up is meant to come up for a reason. And let's see what is in the zodiac sign of the people you're going to be. The person you are interacting with this month. This could also just be you as well. So we have Leo, Scorpio, Aries, Libra and Capricorn. And also Aquarius. Okay. So thank you for watching. If this resonated with you, then please let me know. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I appreciate it so, so much. Also, I'm having a May sale. So that will end on the 1st of June. If you'd like a 25 minute reading for only £19.95, then let me know. I also do other readings. So look down below in the description. Also, if you'd like to comment, like and subscribe, I would appreciate it so much. And I'll speak to you very, very soon. Bye. Hi group number four, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's see what your fortune cookie says about June. I also do EVs by the way, so don't worry, I'm not wasting them. You are only starting on the path to success. So I feel like you're, this is the one that actually makes sense. All the other groups, their messages didn't really make sense. So I feel like you are starting a new project. You could also be starting a, a new business. And also things could just generally be starting to pick up, which is really, really good. So let's see what you guys got we also got amethyst here which is a gorgeous crystal i love this it's so pretty so pretty okay <clears throat> let's start positive energy oh i love this surround yourself with positive people and situations to avoid negativity we also have look inside yourself we have the six of cups the six of pentacles and the page of cups protected you're us you're safe and supportive while you change your career unrequited love deception and free yourself bobcat spirit life is a mystery take a leap of faith sweet results await oh i picked a lot of cards um we also have bp dove spirit tassel spirit slow and steady wins the race and also be at home so i'm just going to put those over there for a minute because you won't be able to see those oh i guess no <laughs> i'll put those over there definitely you guys are really going through a major change you're really investing yourself in your own emotions you're kind of like reading things back and you're avoiding any deception and any unrequited love i feel like you could have had an unrequited love at one point i feel like you could have been maybe rejected from somebody or you could have had rejection in the past and it's kind of caused you to protect yourself I feel like in June you will be freeing yourself from this and you'll be meeting somebody I feel like who's going to offer you a really good offer of love. You could also be offering somebody love as well. I feel like this could be somebody from your past. This could actually be a twin flame, soulmate, um, or a person who is a past, past life relationship. That's what I was going to say, past life relationship. So we also have an, um, the Six of Pentacles, which is an equal give and take. So I feel like if this person doesn't give an equal give and take, then you're just going to be like, bad bitch. <laughs> so basically, you're going to be looking inside yourself this month and you're going to be thinking, what do I really want? And I feel like it's going to be quite a lot of positive energy around you because we've also got sweet results of weight. I feel like since you freed yourself from either a per certain person or you've had a career change, I feel like this is really going to help you with your emotional state as well because you're going to be really happy in this new career change. So just know that you are protective and you're safe while you are changing your career. And life is a mystery, so I feel like you could actually be going for a job that I feel like you might not want, but I feel like it could be really, really good for you. Or it could be a job that you never thought you could do and you thought, actually, let, let me give that a go. Also, you could actually have an emotional offer from somebody you didn't know you were going to have, which is quite interesting. So over here, we have Star and Steady wins a race, be peace and be at home. So I feel like you might need to be at home a little bit more this month just to kind of reset because you're going through quite a major life change, major career change, that sort of thing. And there's no reason to go really fast because we've got slow and steady winter race. And also, I feel like it's just generally a lot of emotional flow because we've got this blue card here. 
and then we have the turtle spirit which is a water animal so you could actually be connecting with a water sign we also have the page of cups so it could be a pisces i feel like you could also be connecting with an aries or a leo and we have i love the fact that we are <clears throat> excuse me here we're looking inside ourselves because it's really really important just to dig out any stuff that needs to come out and I feel like you're just definitely getting away from this. This could also be a situation that's happening at the moment. And you're trying to move away from this. And you're trying to free yourself from any deception and unrequited love. And you're moving into a more positive energy. And you're looking after yourself. Which is really, 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 really good. So I feel like I want to pull just a couple more cards. Just to get to see what else is happening in June. So we have self-forgiveness. And father healing so i thought there would be any more opportunities but we've also got underneath divine magic ex extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now expect miracles so there's definitely an intense change going on i feel like a little bit of stuck energy so i feel like you could be dealing with quite a lot of heavy duty stuff so it says your personal power increases as you give any father related issues to heaven we also have self-forgiveness let go of old guilt and remember that you are god's perfect child so i feel like you could be quite hard on yourself for this transition um but also just to make sure that you are cultivating a, a really nice community as well kind of talk to your friends kind of maybe talk to online chat rooms that sort of thing if you haven't really got anyone around possibly connect with other people on your wavelength online that sort of thing i feel like also the changes in the moon and things like that could be really affecting you because i feel like you're quite a sensitive person so essentially you could be just going for a really intense time and you're forgiving any past issues that you have had and you're really kind of look look going forward and looking forward into the future so let's see if there's anything else that wants to come up so we have growth oh god 100 percent. this is definitely 100 percent you definitely growth is really really good i love this because we're really going towards the sun here we've got move we've got ain't no mountain high enough uphill and box so all of the groups have had these cards these three cards which is crazy so i feel like everyone's going through an intense time at the moment or they're like kind of releasing the intense past i don't feel like moving is really important to you like it's going to be really important for the month of june especially because if you start to feel if you start sorry if you start to feel stuck make sure to move your body and kind of get out get out maybe do some yoga maybe go for a run um i don't know tai chi boxing spin class that sort of thing you could also be starting a new class and i feel like you're going to be moving forward um it's like it's almost like you're going from the box a confined energy and you're moving towards like getting over an uphill struggle which is really really good i love this and you're moving towards the sun and you're moving towards um brighter brighter um a brighter bright future not very bright future but like a, you're moving towards happier times so if you've been struggling that's definitely for you and also take a leap of faith if something comes up or a new person comes in then don't be afraid to kind of move towards them because you're supportive in this um in this situation let's see what zodiac sign we have here so this could be somebody you're interacting with or it could be you so we have gemini capricorn we have libra aries and leo so thank you for watching guys if you would like to uh, get a private reading with me i'm doing a may sale at the moment my 25 minute readings are only 19 pounds 95 i also do other readings as well if you want that you can also get 20 percent off a 25 minute reading if you purchase a five minute reading as well so kind of like a double deal and also if you would like to subscribe comment down below like this video i would appreciate it so much I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here. You are appreciated. You are loved. I love you and I'll speak to you very, very soon. Bye.